G'day guys, Opto here. I've got something here that I hope is going to help somebody else out. You know when it comes to the studio and you've got to deal with things like hum and buzz and all sorts of funny little nuances that can come with your setup or additions to your setup. And sometimes that's the thing you've got to be careful of because you add something into the studio, whether it's a novelty piece like a plasma device like this, all it does is plays pretty lights, and you've Plug that into the things that you normally would plug it into, your power bar or your multi-box, that kind of thing, and you don't realize whether or not that is going to have an impact on your productions. And you would hope not, but sometimes they do. So here's some of the discoveries that I've found, just being able to muck around while well, I've got a little bit of spare time and find out how to get rid of some of the hum that was going on in my studio. Uh, and it turned up. A little while ago and I've been trying to track it down and when you actually dedicate some time to it and really start trying things out and seeing what happens and just taking some things out of the loop pun maybe maybe not intended and just to see what actually happens all right so I'll show you what actually went on down the back here all right so let me take you on a little journey as you can see not the greatest cable management but that's proving a point. Sometimes these things matter. So the very first attempt that I did was just to go and start turning things off. The first thing I actually reached for was this wall wart, which was a addition for a plasma little device which I had for a live broadcast, so just as a visual effect. As soon as I turned that off, voila, hum goes away. It's like, are you kidding? Now, I could still hear a little bit of hum going on in the background, that's because I still have my preamp on. The reason I found out about this is because I had actually taken a multi box into the voice booth and I thought, okay, we'll just keep the cable management, don't have more cables coming out the door. But what was actually happening is I'd actually created another earth loop. So I originally took out my preamp from the voice booth, because that's where it was, so I could control it when I was in there and plugged it in somewhere else into that multi box you can see on the right and it was like brilliant that worked so i'd done that and i thought well okay well let's move that multi box off something else and try it that way around now that didn't work so i put it back to the way that it did work and then i noticed as i was moving the power supply and you'll see that with this here this is the this is the power supply for my preamp for the k2 and as i was turning that directionally anywhere near the mic leads it was just generating so much hum and noise and it, and it was directional too now you will hear hiss in the background because I've had to raise the levels of everything just about to give you an idea of where this hum is I mean it was low-lying hum in some cases but just be aware of that so it just goes to show that when you've got audio gear, you've actually really got to start thinking about how you place your cables, where you place your cables, and if it's just a silly little light that you're plugging in somewhere and that's created a problem in your studio, something new that you've added is probably a good way of being able to actually find out what's going on. So start tracing back, what new have I added, when did I start noticing this happen, what's, what's gone on. Bah humbug! Hopefully this has helped somebody in regards to eliminating hum in the studio and just thinking about cable management and whereabouts you place your cables and what things may impact that. So if you haven't already guys, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, if not, uh, give us a thumbs up at least. That'd be great if we've helped you out. Always good to know that we're helping people. Take care. Cheers.